All right, guys. Uh, came you guys to do another quick video. Uh, this this is uh, a problem that these people were having on this cadet push mower, uh, self-propelled mower. Uh, this uh, happens on a lot of mowers, but this person had this problem happen over and over again, and they kept buying a new one, uh, which was not the right thing to do. I don't know why it kept doing it, but what uh, mainly was the problem. I don't know if you can see this is that when you pulled on the cord it just keeps pulling like that and it's not engaging the starter so let me tighten it back up here so had to look at it what the problem was took off the cover four screws to do that and then you take off the bolts here three bolts to take off the cover and the problem was is this was loose see how that nuts loose so when this is turning it wasn't engaging see how it's kind of it's, it's kind of slop so it wasn't actually engaging these metal pieces which see this which goes in there and these metal pieces come out and engage there So this had worked itself loose and you could probably put some Loctite on there to make it really do what it needs to do. Let me get it. And you can just pull it to make sure. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to come out and I'm going to tighten it as tight as I can get it. You can put light tight on it to keep it that way. That's basically all it was. <clears throat> all right. And some people call those keys. Right. And just put your bolt back on. No sense in buying another starter here. But they had already bought two starters. I don't know what what kept making it go loose, but I've had it. And we're gonna see. I'm gonna tighten this. Everything's super tight. Could speed up this video, but let's just, let's just make sure to start up. see the wear and tear on the string I may have to get another string where they have ripped it up from trying to start it so many times with the cord broke but it runs it cuts thanks for watching my video